Welcome to Free Arts Academy. Today we're going to teach you about the stages of an acrylic painting. The first step is the sketch. Every painting we've ever created has began with a sketch. Doing a simple drawing of your idea will help you make sure that the imagery fits on the canvas in a way that's pleasing to the eye. You can also create what's called an underpainting by drawing out your sketch using a wash of lighter colored paint. A wash is acrylic paint that's been mixed with water. This point in the painting is a perfect time to make sure that your images are at a good scale and are proportionate to one another. The second step is making your first moves. Now it's time to prepare to paint your art. During this step, make sure you gather all the basic supplies that you'll need for your project. If you want to tone your canvas, now's the time. At this time in your project, it's time to put paint to the canvas. It may seem daunting to take the first step, so just take a deep breath and start. It's helpful to remember that in acrylic painting, you can simply wait for the paint to be dry and paint over it if you feel you've made a mistake. Take the pressure off yourself by knowing that most anything can be sorted out with ease. The middle figuring it out. This step is the longest part of the painting process and it can be one of the best parts. The middle is about figuring out the details and often means that you must visually study the subject matter that you're painting. This step includes lots of measuring of angles and finding ways to advance the look of your art through adding important visual cues. There are times when you can't effectively paint any further in your image until you let your paint dry, so please do take breaks as often as necessary. If you find that your colors are mixing together on the canvas and looking dull, it's definitely time to take a break. The next step is the details, highlights and lowlights. At this point of your painting, you'll want to feel certain that you've got every object situated well on the canvas and everything looks the way you had hoped. Some things to consider at this time are, have I added all the details that I wanted? Are the colors bold and bright or matching the palette I've chosen? This is a great time to make sure you've added highlights and lowlights to your painting. It may also help to consider the possibility of adding depth by using a contour line to set certain imagery to the forefront of the viewer's perspective. When you feel the painting is complete, please sign your work. If you have a title or want to remember the date you finished your art, consider writing something in the back of your canvas or panel. The final step is finishing your artwork. When your art has been dry for at least a few days or a week, it's time to consider finishing your art. By finish, we mean adding a varnish to your completed artwork by using a spray or by applying it with a paintbrush. 